everyone, we're going to find an equation of the tangent to the curve at point 1, comma 3 for our uh, parametric equations. We're going to use two different methods. The first method is that we're just going to uh, find our derivatives of x and y with respect to t and find it that way. So let's do that first. So if we take um, derivative of y with respect to t, uh, that's this one here. That's just going to give you 2t. And derivative of x with respect to t is going to just equal 1 divided by t. And then you just divide these two. So that would be, because uh, these uh, cancel out here, to get your derivative of x, derivative of y with respect to x. So that's going to be 2t divided by 1 divided 2t divided by 1 divided by t. Just bring that up. So this equals 2t squared. All right. So at... Um, our point 1 comma 3 we have our x so our x equals uh, 1 plus ln of t so that means our x is supposed to be 1 given here so that means ln of t equals 0 um, also at t equals 1 for our x here, you substitute that back in here. Our derivative of y with respect to x is just going to equal 2. So the equation of the line is going to be uh, y minus your 3 equals 2 times x minus your 1. This gives you y equals 2x minus 2 plus 3 which gives you y equals 2x plus 1. Now the other method is um, writing your rectangular uh, equations. And so what we do is let um, x equal 1 plus ln of t. Therefore, if you solve for ln of t, that's going to give you um, x minus 1. Uh, we can write this uh, solve for t, and that would be t equals e to the power of x minus 1. So I'm going to substitute this t in for my y value. So if we have y equal t squared plus 2, then that's going to equal um, uh, e to the power of x minus 1 squared plus 2 which equals e uh, to the power of 2x minus 2 plus 2. Okay, let's differentiate our y to find our uh, gradient or slope, and that's going to give me uh, e to the power of 2x minus 2. Differentiate this, that's times 2. So that's just going to be uh, 2 times e to the power of 2x minus 2. Now, um, at we're still at 1 comma 0. So when you substitute in your uh, x here, this is just going to equal 2. Because this is going to give you uh, 2 times e to the power of 0. So there it is. And now we can uh, write our equation as y minus 3 equals 2 times x minus 1, and that gives you your y equals 2x plus 1, like we did for the first method. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.